Yeah. What's up guys? Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a beautiful day. We're just kind of hanging out at the house all day today. And let's ask Siri, how many days? See, we were having a dispute this morning around how many days are actually left until Christmas. And Siri tells us something. What did Siri tell us? It's seven more days till Christmas Eve, but it's actually not. Hey Siri, how many days left till Christmas? It's seven days until then. <laughs> seven days. It's actually not, because on our because on our calendar it says eight. Let's look. So when you Google, so if we Google it, let's see what Google says. So if Google says, Google how many days left until Christmas. Here's a summary from email Santa. There are zero more weeks. Well, I tried counting down to Christmas using my fingers and toes, but I don't have seven of them. Then I'd be really grumpy. If you want to count down to Christmas, there are seven days to go. <laughs> that was pretty funny. She's hilarious. Yeah. So seven days, guys, until I Christmas. Like, I was like, how many more days till Christmas Eve? And she said, how many more days till Christmas eat? <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like there's a website called Chris Xmas Clock, ChristmasClock.com. And it actually has like the countdown. I know there's a lot of other countdowns, but it says seven days, eight hours, and two minutes until you guys get to open up some Christmas presents. Uh -huh. huh? Are you That's excited? Not today. That's not today. No, not today. Are you excited? Um, dun, dun, dun. What's the one present you want Santa to bring? Dollhouse and Barbies. Dollhouse? Dollhouse and Barbies? And yeah. Everybody is kicking back today. Mommy is relaxing. Hi, Mom. Harper, say hi. Harper, say hi. hi. Hi! Say seven days until Santa. No, eight. Seven. I just I eight. just did it. It is eight. It's seven, babe. It's eight. One. Here we go. Three, All four, right. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. But you don't count the actual day as the day, right? So it's actually seven days. It's eight days. So. It's Yesterday eight. was nine. Well, Siri and Google. I don't think I, both of them guys would be wrong. Siri and Google. Guys, no, pretty accurate. Not ten days. What? It's not ten days. What's on your head? Are those Santa? Santa headband? Ooh, she's wearing some new clothes from. Those from Nana. Those are all from Nana. Do you love them? Yeah, that's a beautiful. I like that. It's like little slippers. <laughs> so we're gonna make some hot chocolate. It's a wintry day today. It's cool out, and uh, yeah, it's a really low key day today, guys. And you want a coffee cup? Get a not glass one. Whoa! Don't get a glass one. Please. Everyone wants to pick out their hot chocolate mug. I'm gonna okay, I'll get you. How about? Do you want? Let's see. Press. Ooh. How about this one? Live, live in the moment. You like that? Then we gotta get Harper. Which hot chocolate did you pick out? Does that have the marshmallows? Yeah, it has marshmallows. Nice. So we're just going with the classic Swiss Miss. I know there's some other good ones out there, but we're gonna do some Swiss Miss. You love Swiss mm. Miss. You love hot chocolate, don't you? Yeah, I think I'm gonna need another packet. Because <laughs> I am freezing. Are you cold today? Yeah, I'm like freezing cold. Oh. You're freezing cold? Yes, I'm like lots, lots of cold. <laughs> so I think we're gonna boil some water, make some fresh hot chocolate, and just make it a, a really relaxing Saturday, uh, Sunday for you guys by the time you watch this. But that's it. So before we drink our hot chocolate, we're gonna get the kids outside, let them play at the play set that we have and get them some fresh air and get some energy burnt off and then we're gonna make some nice hot chocolate to warm up. All right, Press, let's go. 
I'm coming. Let's go. Gotta shut the door though. Cause. Ugh. That was awesome. You guys ready for some hot chocolate? Yeah. You want some hot chocolate? Right now. You want it right now? Do you want some hot chocolate? All right, let's go, girls. Let's go get some hot chocolate. Okay. Ready? Press C. All right, now it is time for some hot chocolate. It really actually isn't that cold out today. I think it's only in the 40s, uh, but it's nice to get some fresh air really quick and get the kids outside. But we're gonna make these, make this hot chocolate and make it a fun Christmassy evening. So, my mom's mom, this one's mine. Yeah. You like the purple cup, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's... I like the purple. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna have the red cup. Mm. Pressy's gonna have. She's living the moment. Living moments. It's pretty cool. And then mommy is gonna have the big wide mouth coffee cup. Pretty cool. Mmm. Mine's really chocolatey. Is it good, Harper? Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. <laughs> you love the marshmallows. We didn't get more. We we should have gotten more Guys, marshmallows. That's if, okay. If If they have hot chocolate, leave a comment below. And then you have to turn it. And yeah. you need a bowl, a big huge bowl, and pour it in a bowl. Yeah, you have to stir it. And turn it just like this. Like yeah. Good job. You're doing great. Turn it so long. All right, here's mommy's. Let's go hook her up. Don't spill it. Don't spill it. On a mission. Here we go. Oh. Ta da! Hopefully, it'll make me feel better. It should, because it is tasty. <laughs> Are you comfortable? Dang, girl. I'm tired of morning sickness. <laughs> You'll get better. I can see you're watching. What are you watching over here? <laughs> Private practice. Private practice? <laughs> it's the spin off show for Grey's Anatomy. Oh, nice. On season five. <laughs> addicted. Hashtag addicted. Private practice. <laughs> it's so good. We've been watching this show, guys, <laughs> that we've kind of gotten hooked on. I don't know if you've seen it. It's called The 100 on Netflix. And I don't know. At first, I thought it was going to be okay. But it turned out to be a decent show. It's another one of those like post-apocalyptic shows. But... Um, I don't know, I'm a sucker for those, uh, like Walking Dead and those other shows like that. But anyways, The 100 is pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, check it out on Netflix. Uh, we think it's pretty fun to watch. All right, so we just wrapped up dinner, and now we're all just hanging out, watching some TV, watching some movies. Harper and the girls are going crazy. Hey. You want to say hello? <laughs> They're all hiding from the vlog. 
I see you. I don't want to be there. You. Oh my goodness. So everybody's already asleep and I'm sitting here, I'm just watching some YouTube videos, guys. And some of the YouTube videos that I've been watching actually are around like the whole like YouTube algorithm change for some, for you guys that don't vlog, uh, this really isn't probably maybe that interesting to you, but basically what happened is YouTube had shifted some things around and changed some things with the algorithm, which is essentially how you guys see our video and how our video shows up on your uh, subscription feed or not even that, but just like on your suggestions or recommended page now that's on, on your YouTube. Um, and you'll notice that sometimes some of your, some of your channels that you're subscribed to, either you got unsubscribed or you're not actually seeing the most recent video from those channels on that recommended screen and it's showing you other videos. So the best way to get around that is to hit the notification bell and to also follow us on social media. So if you follow any vloggers on YouTube, if you follow us, make sure to follow us on Facebook, uh, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, which, whatever your favorite uh, social media is. But we are really trying to start focusing a little bit on Facebook too because uh, I do like Facebook video and I think Facebook video is, is it works really well. Um, so we're starting to share some of our Facebook videos on our the groovy life page so if you guys are on facebook make sure to like that page and follow us there we'd love to have you over there um, and we have some really cool things coming up for instagram facebook snapchat and twitter um, but you know we'll talk about that later on so i've been hooked on travel vloggers lately guys and there's a couple that I wanted to share with you guys, some, a couple channels if you're into that sort of thing. But I really think it has to do with the fact that it's winter time right now and I haven't been outdoors as much as I have been in the past few months. So uh, definitely you know, loving some of these adventure vlogs. But a couple of them that I wanted to throw out there, I guess shout out, I guess you'd say, but they've been on YouTube for a long time and very successful on YouTube. But one of them is Fun for Louie. Uh, fun for Louie. I'll make sure to link it down below just so you guys can go check it out if you want to go check them out. But really entertaining channel, great vlogger, great daily vlogger. Uh, if you want to watch someone that kind of travels around and sees some cool places and has some really good edits, uh, definitely recommend Fun for Louie. And another one I stumbled across is um, Ben Brown is his name. And I'll share that. Mr. Ben Brown, actually. The channel is Mr. Ben Brown. Uh, he's another travel, travel, tra I can't talk, travel vlogger, and God, that guy is sick. His video footage is amazing. He uses high-end video equipment, but the vlogging is out of this world, guys. So, I uh, just thought I'd share those couple channels with you. If you have any interest in travel vloggers, um, those guys are definitely doing it right and definitely inspirational. Um, Summer and I love to travel. We haven't done it in a while, and... We definitely like to stay busy and it's something that's kind of on our radar of things we want to be able to accomplish and do. Um, and, and so yeah, so I hope you guys check out those channels and, and leave a comment below if you do. And uh, But now it is time for Groovy Comment of the Day. And today we're going to share two Groovy Comments of the Day. Um, let's see here. Let's find a couple. Okay, this one is from Callie Joe. Uh, hashtag groovy comment of the day. Does Peyton play any sports outside of school or want to in the future? If so, what sports or activities, dance, cheer, etc.? Um, Peyton has played soccer. She loves soccer, uh, but lately she has been dying to get into gymnastics. So, or gymnastics, dance, I think. So we're gonna get her into that. Um, soccer's really been the only sport she's been playing or she has played. Uh, so she really wants to branch out and start getting into some uh, dance and gymnastics. So I think that's next, um, but we're really supportive of whatever she wants to do. Um, but we are a huge believer in extracurricular activities and uh, Summer and I both played sports. I played a lot of sports. And the next groovy comment of the day is from Lizzie and family. Thank you, Lizzie. Um, let's see, I know you guys said you will wait till birth to find out the gender of the baby, but will you be sharing with us some names that you might use for either boy or girl, or do we have to wait until the baby is here to find out the name? So we're still discussing this. Um, we're not gonna find out the gender. I know Summer really wants to wait, and I think it'd be a really cool surprise. Our fourth baby, wait until the birth, and do a really great like birth vlog special and experience. Um, 
And as far as the name goes, we may possibly do a video with a boy and a girl name reveal, um, but we haven't we haven't nailed that down if we're gonna do that yet guys but at least I wanted to throw that out there that we have been talking about it and we're thinking about you guys and keeping you in the loop um, but no matter what it's gonna be a special experience and uh, we're really excited about it but thank you Lizzie thank you so much Callie uh, great comments all of you again beautiful comments on our channel and uh, definitely love the support and the love you guys are sharing with us um, but it is time to end the vlog, time to go to bed, and uh, make sure to make someone smile and stay groovy, guys, okay? Like, subscribe, see you tomorrow.